Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. It's another week of triathlon training. Uh, just been for Monday morning swim. Oh, chlorine making me sneeze. Good session today. So we did a thousand meters straight off and then five times 50 off one minute, uh, a minute's rest and then five times 50 uh, off a minute. Again, really good with a 100 meter cool down. Um, I actually did 1100. Uh, one of the one of the lads was was taking easy today, so I kept swimming until he finished. So I did 1100 meters instead of a thousand, but it was good. One minute 40 average. Um, not particularly, <laughs> not particularly quick. I know that my my swim fitness has got to improve, but we're on the road. Work starts this week. This is the start of the hard work. Uh, only well less than 12 weeks until Ironman Swansea now. The focus is going to be on hitting every single session. I've had a rethink of my diet. I want to think about how I'm going to get stuff done. I'm looking forward to putting all that into action this week. Anyway, I'm going to come back tomorrow for the first of the bike sessions of the week. Welcome to Tuesday. Um, first bike session of the week. It's a sweet spot, which is three times 10 minutes at 230 watts. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I've had some great news today. I had an email from Mark Leibsey, who is who runs the Brick Session podcast. Um, if you don't listen to it already, I suggest you do, because it's brilliant. He's very honest, very funny, and has some brilliant guests on. Anyway, I'm a patron of that um, podcast, and uh, he does a lot of giveaways, um, things like wetsuits, and uh, clothing, equipment, race entries, and I put my name in the hat for an outlaw Thorsbury entry. And I've won it, I've got a free a free entry to Outlaw Thorsbury, which is on the 3rd of September. And I am really, really stoked, really excited. It's a great bit of news for today. And that kind of makes training feel even better because I'm aware of where I'm gonna be or I'm not gonna be for Swansea. So it feels like I've got another chance to do a good race this year. Anyway, warm up's finished. I'll crack on with the first of the sweet spot efforts and come out toward the end of this session. As always, I'll let you know how I'm getting on. Right, that is workout done. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't pick up the camera during it because I just didn't, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, what was the average? Average power was 197 watts, average heart rate 149. Pretty happy with that. The heart rate seemed to max out at about 160, like uh, about 164 for the 10 minute efforts at 230, which I'm happy about. Definitely feel like a little bit of fitness is creeping back in. Um, anyway, right, tomorrow is a swim. I'll see you for that. Good morning, welcome to Wednesday. Second swim of the week, might be something in this regular training, you know. Anyway, um, I've just been for a swim, which used to be a mile straight on a Wednesday, and we've changed it up. In, well, they've changed up in my absence, so I can take no credit. And it's now a pyramid set. So you start with one length and work up to eight, and then back down to one, that gives you your mile. Um, but as one of the guys was saying, it's an interesting way of doing it, because you swim each set to uh, at a pace for that length, for that distance. So your one, your two, your three, your four, you, they're all kind of hard efforts um, and you really start to feel it by the end. Um, it, it was good, just looking at my kind of paces. The slowest was 139 and that was for the second 150. Um, so all of them were hovering around about 130, 125 to 130, which I'm pretty pleased with actually. It's nice to get, and, and that's the sort of session that's really gonna get some speed back in my uh, in my swimming, which is great. In other news, I had this arrive yesterday. I don't know if you picked that up. It's uh, a Rincon Smart Ring. I thought I'd get one, because I've stopped wearing my Garmin. I'm, I'm starting to wear a nice watch now. So I thought I wanna still keep track of HRV and all those sorts of things. So I thought I'd invest in a Smart Ring and a review will be coming up in a while. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on the, the day it needs to be done and um, I might come back later for a run. Finn's got a goalkeeper trainer, so I might take my run kit and go for a run. You'll find out in just a second though. Right, it's still Wednesday. Uh, Finn's at football. I've just done a 5K run, 26 minutes, nice and easy. Uh, I feel good, nice to have got a double day in, to be honest. It's the first time for a while that I've done that. Um, I feel a bit shaky. Uh, fine on the run, I feel a bit shaky now. I could probably have done with some food uh, after work, but there we go, it's not a problem. Finn will be finished football soon and I'll be able to get some tea. Um, I'm not gonna train tomorrow, I don't think. I've gotta catch up with a cardiologist. I think just to be discharged, uh, I'll bring camera and let you know as soon as that 
has finished though, I'm really excited to see what he says. I'm hoping it's going to be as good news as the letter was and he's happy, no problems. But you will find out in just a second. Wish me luck. It's Thursday. Uh, what's the time? It's 10 to 8. 10 to 8 in the evening and it's still light and it's still sunny. Look at that. Sunshine. I'm really happy. I've just left the cardiologist's office. That's the hospital over there. Um, and I'm discharged. I'm discharged. The results of my MRI are completely normal. Um, I've got a bundle branch block, which he said can happen. Um, some people just have it, which means you don't have the cable that sends the electrical signals to different parts of your heart. Um, he's not worried about it. It doesn't appear to have been caused by fibrosis or COVID. No, I know I had COVID bad last year. No. He did say, and I want everyone to remember this, I want everyone to listen to this, it's watching the video. He has seen healthy, healthy people, so people that he would consider to be an athlete, really healthy people, go from competing in sport to being uh, in need of a, that's cool, to being in need of a heart transplant from COVID. He's seen COVID destroy healthy hearts. So, if you have COVID, make sure you return to re you follow the return to sport protocol really carefully, because I've just heard from a cardiologist that he is he has seen people end up really, 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 really ill from having it. So there you go. That's the sobering bit. But the good news is that I am fully discharged. I'm absolutely beaming. I'm so pleased. So discharged from the consultant, I don't need to go and see the doctor. He has said if I get any more symptoms, I need to go back. But, come on. I'll see you tomorrow for a swim. Morning, welcome to Friday. Um, <clears throat> just been for my normal Friday swim, just taking a look at it now, 2,000 meters. Uh, average pace, 134. There were some good, good sessions in there. So that's the starting at 12, working down to uh, one. Uh, look at the timings. 135, 135, 140, 137, 132, 130, 132, 135. So around about 134 average. Yeah, as it says, 134 average um, for the hundreds. Impress, uh, impress myself. My, my endurance seems to have improved a fair bit since last week because I know in the last week I was struggling pretty early on. But um, I seem to be able to manage to keep it together a bit better this week, which is great. Hopefully it means that um, a bit of fitness has come in. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, I might see you later on. I might do a, I might do a run this afternoon. Um, Finn's got for swimming, so I might go for a, a quick run while he's there. If not, it'll be tomorrow for a bike session. Welcome to Sunday, and welcome back to the Shed of Dreams. It's fully functioning again, this time with uh, a turbo mat, latest edition. Um, right, I was gonna do something yesterday, I think I said. Or maybe Friday evening. I wanted to watch Finn. Very aware that I don't tend to watch Finn swim very often because uh, I go for a run and I wanted to watch him. So that's what I did. And then yesterday, I just ached. Everything really hurt. So I didn't, I didn't do anything yesterday. I feel better for it today, to be honest. So, session is five minutes warm up. Uh, it's a sweet sort of session. Three times 10 minutes, 230 watts, uh, and then a five minute cool down. I'm going to crack on because that five minutes is nearly up. I'll come back mid-session for an update. Okay, that's two of three done. First one felt lovely, second one felt lovely until about six minutes. <laughs> but that's four of it tough. But happy overall. Heart rate's going up to about 161. Or it did in that second one. But it all feels vastly more achievable than it did a couple of weeks ago, so I'll take that. Oh, I did do a bit of a schoolboy error though, and I hadn't started the uh, fan before before the workout. So I did the first 10 minutes without a fan, and I was absolutely drenched, super hot. <laughs> anyway, it's on now, and we're going good. I will come back at the end of this, then I feel like it went. That is third set done, just on the cool down now. Oh, that was good. 
Really good, I enjoyed that a lot. Well, not like massively cardio heavy, but just tiring. <laughs> yeah, it was good, I enjoyed that, really, really enjoyed it. Nice to feel like a little bit of strength is coming back to my legs as well. And more about getting used to these workouts again, isn't it? I've had like a fair period off the turbo and off this sort of session, so a little bit of learning the craft again as much as anything else. Right, that is it for this week. It feels like it's been a really good one. I'm not sure what the video is going to come out like, how interesting it's going to be, but <coughs> from a, a training perspective, it feels positive. I feel like I've covered some ground this week. So, in terms of next week, Kate's away, so it's going to be pretty uh, bike and run heavy. I'm not going to get a chance to get to the pool early. Anyway, that's for another video. I'll see you again next week. Look after yourself, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll see you again. Cheers, guys.